Natalie Schwent. This is my 14th week pregnancy update. Um, I feel like I should have like some more funner way to, I know funner's not a word, to say the holy Schwent part. Holy Schwent! Or like, holy Schwent! Like we're holding on to our seats or something. Or like, holy Schwent! Or like, can you handle this? Holy Schwent! <laughs> Anyways, it is my 14th week pregnancy update post. I wanted to first preface that these videos are going up at basically the end of whatever week. So I'm recording these videos at the end of my 14th week, or whatever week it is, just so you have more of the update on what's going on during the week. It doesn't really make sense to do it at the beginning. And now I'm out of breath. That's real life, folks. So I'm putting these videos out at the, or I'm doing them at the end of the week and then putting them up still within that week. So I'll put this up still within my 14th week, but I'm closer to my 15th week than 14th week. But this is my 14th week pregnancy update or my bump vlog. And I am going to be brutally honest and this was not so hot of a week. <laughs> um, the cool thing is, is that the baby's the size of a brilliant beat now. Um, I really don't know what the heck a brilliant beat is. So another one of my apps says it's the size of a, it's the size of a lemon, and I almost just gave the gender away. <laughs> um, the baby's the size of a lemon, and if you want to be uh, cool and do the like fun theme toy version of what the baby is, it is now the size of a troll. So there you go. Whatever one you want the baby to be right now, it's the size of a brilliant beet or lemon or a troll. Uh, three and a half inches long, and um, according to my app, the baby um, has doubled in size since last week and will only continue to um, grow as the baby begins to put on more fat on its skinny little legs. So that's really, really neat. I'm excited that the baby's growing in there and developing, developing good. Um, but Go, as growing goes along with it, so does my uterus. And um, the crazy thing is, is I know that I gave you the update that I was starting to feel better, I had more energy, and I really never got sick during my first trimester. But awkwardly and ironically, the first day of the 14th week, I got sick. <laughs> so I was perfectly fine. I woke up in the morning, I had the protein shake like I described to you guys that I was doing. Um, what else did I have? I think I had a banana and then I had cereal on me. So I used a coconut milk and then um, the cereal that I had already had before so I knew it wasn't giving me any issues. But I ate the cereal at work and immediately, I'm not even playing with you, as soon as I finished the last bite of that cereal, my face just got flush red and I like felt throw up coming up. I'm sorry, I know that's disgusting. but. I was like, oh no, oh no, like I'm really gonna throw up this time. And I ran to the bathroom and the most embarrassing thing is my boss ended up being in the bathroom. <laughs> so I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm about to be sick right now, so if I throw up, then you know it's because of the pregnancy. And I proceeded to vomit my way for the next five or 10 minutes. Um, I really don't know what the heck happened. I don't know if it just, at that moment, I, my stomach wasn't agreeing with it, the baby didn't like the food, my hormones were just at a crazy level, but as soon as I grew up and got over it, relaxed, got some more food and liquid in me, I was perfectly fine and I didn't end up getting sick the rest of the day, so I know it wasn't the flu or some bug. Um, I didn't throw up the rest of the week, I've, I've still felt fine, so I really don't know what the heck that was about, but I feel for all of you ladies who did that your entire first trimester. Kudos to you. Like seriously, I do not know how you do it. It's the grace of God <laughs> that enables women to get through those early stages of pregnancy. I just found it super weird that it happened during my 14th week when I was already in my second trimester, but supposedly crazy things happen during pregnancy and you can't really put a label on everything and a formula and say everything is gonna go such and such way. So that was the first thing that started out my 14th week. Then um, the night of that day, I was super tired and I think it just took a lot out of me. 
So I ended up um, staying home and taking a nap. I passed out for like an hour and a half. And when I woke up from that nap, I kind of freaked up, freaked out. I woke up and parts of my body were like numb. So, which hasn't been abnormal. I have noticed when I sleep at night and stuff, my arm and my leg and stuff fall asleep faster. Maybe it's the circulation or the there's more blood flowing through my body and so it's just taking more time to go through. But then I just toss and turn and it ends up, my body parts end up coming back to, back to life or I don't know how you say that. But um, so I sat up right away and um, tried to get the blood flow going back in me and it just didn't happen. Like limbs kept feeling numb <laughs> like first is my arm and then it was weird it was like kind of going through my chest a little bit and then I felt it in my leg and I'm already a little bit paranoid because I'm super super ultra aware of my body and for that to have happened and it never happened to me before other than you know when people's body parts normally fall asleep and you let blood flow back to it and it comes back um it wasn't coming back so of course, my emotional self, I freaked out a little bit and I ended up just going to bed. Derek and I, Derek prayed for me and I went to sleep and I was like, okay, maybe I'm just really tired. So I went to sleep and I um, didn't sleep very good. I kind of was tossing and turning, noticing that things were falling asleep faster in my body. And then when I woke up in the morning, I felt fine. So I went to work and I sit down at a desk all day long at my job and I was sitting there for about an hour and then all of a sudden I just felt like my whole left side of my body was going numb or I can still feel my skin. I just don't know how to describe it. Like almost like it's not all the way asleep, but it's getting to the point of asleep. So like that tingly feeling and it was my whole left side of my body. So my, my leg, my butt cheek, my side, like side. My uterus never felt like it was asleep, but then like up through my um, my arm, all the way down my arm, and even like some into my face, like my left ear, um, underneath my jaw, and so uh, normally I kind of freaked out a little bit, and um, ended up calling my chiropractor, and then I ended up calling my midwife, and ended up calling one of my or texting one of my friends who's an OB resident and asking her what the heck was going on just to try to get some peace of mind and I knew things were fine because my vitals were fine, my pulse was fine, I was using the restroom regularly so I, I was fine. I just wanted to make sure everything was okay with me and baby. And so uh, I, I was told that it could potentially be low iron. I was told that it was probably just the baby maybe sitting on a nerve or things expanding. I didn't really 100% know what it was. So I dealt with it for um, that night and then that day and then the next day I noticed it wasn't as bad. I was standing up more at work and then um, Derek and I also found some a website where I could do more stretches and things because like I told you last video I wasn't working out at all and it's horrible because now the baby is getting bigger like the size of a lemon that's kind of that's pretty big for my small little torso and things trying to expand and grow in there so I needed to be doing more. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you'll be proud of me. I did actually do some, some exercising. Like I did 20 minute, 20 minutes on the treadmill. I just walked, okay? It's pathetic, but I did a 3.5 on the treadmill for 20 minutes. I'm pretty sure my pulse was off the charts. It was like 140 just for walking. I know that's pathetic, but it was like, it was like 140. But I hadn't really done anything. And I think it's normal for me to get get that tired just because more blood's pumping through my body and then I ended up doing some squats and that was the night before I had everything start going numb so after this whole week has passed and and everything has happened I've kind of put together that obviously it must have been just a combination of me of not doing anything for a long period of time finally doing something my body freaking out about it things expanding in there and then um, like I said, Derek and I found that website to start doing some exercises on. We did some exercises. I did um, yoga, like a 10 or 11 minute yoga thing, which was insane how like unflexible. And I just did like, what is this called? Like it, like Indian style where, <laughs> you know, where to spit, um, Indian <laughs> style where you stretch or whatever. And I was just doing some stretches to get my um, nervous system and my spine going. and. I'm still sore from that 10 minutes. It's ridiculous. But just even doing those two nights or two days worth of the exercises, 
um, yesterday and today, I haven't had any numbness in my body. So there you go. The verdict must have just been that I wasn't being active enough and I needed to get my body and my muscles and my ligaments moving. So I'm obviously going to be doing more of that. Derek and I are looking into maybe doing some sort of couples class to where we can learn more of the stretches to open up my uterus and open up my pelvis and to get things um, more expanded. It's, it's kind of difficult to try to figure it on your own. It's all, it's all new to us. So if you have any tips or any suggestions or websites or YouTube videos or something, comment below. I would love to hear what other people have done um, and that would help us out a ton. So that was my week as far as everything physically. It was kind of taxing, just a little bit draining. Some other things were happening um, personally as far as my care. Um, I decided kind of through a lot of talk and prayer with Derek that we are going to end up um, transferring our care out from the person who's been caring for us and that's been overwhelming just trying to figure out who we're going to go with now and um, so I know it's silly like I'm super happy that I'm pregnant but it's just these these decisions along the way that you have to make and the things that you have to learn that seem overwhelming to a new pregnant mom full of emotions surging through her body. <laughs> so it's gonna be okay, I know. Uh, Derek's gonna start helping me more a little with, more with the process and making these decisions so I don't feel like everything's on my shoulders. But that was my week as far as things physically. Uh, you'll be happy to know that I'm still craving of gosh dang Chipotle tacos. And yes, I've still probably gotten them again like another four times. And that's okay. <laughs> and weirdly, I have not drank pop since I was a kid. Uh, first of all, first of all, I'm very, very intolerant to caffeine, so my body just does not like it. Um, but I started craving some Sprite. So yesterday, I was at a church event, and they had Sprite there. So I did have a few sips of it just to curb that craving. Don't freak out, my sister. <laughs> my sister, who's a health nut. Uh, will get on me about that, but I just had like five to ten sips or gulps of it. I didn't drink the whole thing, but it was delicious and clearly the baby wanted it. <laughs> but um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to cover. I don't want to continue to go on and on and on. Um, but thank you everybody so much for all of your nice comments and your encouraging words about my last video. I'm very, very thankful for all of you that are interested in continuing on with this journey and and learning what's going on with me and the baby as we go through this. And um, like I said last video, being gracious with me about time limit and talking about all of this, but um, I've been very, very thankful for so many of you that are that are so excited for me. And I love you guys for that, I really do. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I wanna cover before I do my little baby bump care. Um, uh, is there? I mean, nothing's really changed as far as my symptoms, cravings haven't changed. That was just my crazy week. I'm hoping what week 15 will be a lot better on the up. <laughs> um, we have a crazy week ahead of us. Um, Derek's going out of town. We have a conference at our church. So it will be, it will be a great week. <laughs> you guys can probably obviously tell I'm exhausted, but I wanted to get this video done for you all and for my baby. Baby Schwent, be grateful for everything your mom is going through <laughs> and your dad. I feel, gosh, I feel so sorry for him. He has to put up with all of my emotions. And you guys, he has been such a trooper. I love him so much. Like, I'm gonna start, <laughs> I'm gonna start crying because I love him so stinking much. Like, <laughs> he has been, like, Jesus is my rock, okay? But he has been my other rock. <laughs> like, he's been Jesus in the flesh for me. Um, Gets, he takes care of me every stinking morning. He helps me get ready, he helps me get out the door to my job. He wants what's best for me and the baby always. Gosh, he's just so great and he's so encouraging. And baby Schwent, you are so, so blessed. You are so blessed to have the daddy that you have. And I don't know what kind of mom I'm gonna be, but I know you're gonna have a fabulous dad and you're never gonna have to worry you're never gonna have to want because one God's our provider but two he's giving you the best daddy <laughs> so anyways here is my 
here is my little bump. Oh, I will tell you that after the last video I did, the next morning I woke up and I was like, did my belly grow? <laughs> because I just felt more like kind of like tension down there and weightiness and it did look bigger. So today I don't feel as pregnant. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just all like the emotions and things that I'm going through, but um, I felt like it did a little bit. Now you can tell me what you think. Okay, so here is the baby bump. Hopefully you can see it since I'm wearing black. If I can move up a little bit. There is the baby bump. Here's from the front. And here's from the other side. Oh. So that is that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Derek and I, over the next couple days, are going to be putting out that first trimester video. So sorry it's late. We're going to be putting that out. And then we're also going to be putting another video out to announce our invitation to our gender reveal party that is going to be coming up in the next couple weeks. So we're super excited about that. We've been discussing that. Uh, so that has been a really fun thing that we've been doing over the last couple days is discussing how we're going to do that because yes, we do already know the gender. We did the early blood test and yes, it is accurate. And yes, we, we know we haven't told a single person, <laughs> but we wanted to digest and soak it in joy and savor. Um, all these moments and then share them along with you. So thank you for coming along on this ride and this journey with us. We love you so much and I will talk to you soon. Bye!